Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the third and final update for the Roulette Pan collab. Next month is the finale for this round. I believe this is round six, but this is the second time that I have participated in this huge collaborative project that was created by Alexi and Rebecca Morgan. This project is so much fun and I'm happy to be a part of it for a second time. They did announce the start date for round seven, which is February 15th. And unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to join as that is one day before my due date. So I, depending on how early I have this baby, I'm kind of thinking I won't be able to participate in the next round, but that's okay. I will still have fun watching everybody else's videos. Also, unfortunately, I don't have any empties again, and I don't quite understand how that has happened since I've been doing my makeup more and more and more as the months have gone by, especially this holiday season with all of the Christmas parties and family get togethers and stuff. And I have been using these products as you will see when I tell you um, my tallies and stuff. So a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. There's always next time and I have like now that we're at the very end of December, I'm just really excited to start all my new projects that are going to be at the very beginning of January next week. How crazy is that? So this update is going to be pretty short. I'm just going to quickly chat about the six products that I am working on. I don't have my list of categories here with me, which was definitely an oversight on my part, but I will have my Roulette Pan collab playlist up here so you can check out my intro and first and second update where I tell you what um, like prompts that these go with. But for now, let's start with the NYX Butter Gloss. My goal is to use this up, which I know these glosses are huge. They have eight mils of product in them. And since the last update, I've used this an additional seven times. I think someone told me that the packaging is actually not opaque, that once it settles, you will be able to see through it, but I don't even see any cracks in this. I don't think I've been making much of a dent in it at all. I do see some discoloration in the product right here. Um, but that could be just because it's really old or maybe it is starting to wear down there. I'm not too sure. Less product is coming out on the wand, but it's nowhere near like pulling the stopper out or anything like that. So this is a really great everyday gloss. I'm wearing it today, of course. I'm wearing all of these products on my face today and it just goes with everything. It's a neutrally pink type of color really comfortable formula. I don't mind wearing it and when I say seven uses I don't count reapplications. I'm doing good to remember to tally it the first time when I'm sitting at my vanity. So if it gets tossed in my purse for the day and I'm applying it over and over through the whole day, um, that doesn't count. So seven days over the last month, that has been my lip gloss of choice. The Morphe setting spray is just hanging on for dear life. It's starting to sputter and I considered calling this like empty for the purpose of this project to roll something new in but I didn't want to cheat because if I shake it really well a little bit does come out but I have used this 11 more times since the last update it doesn't shake anymore like it literally feels empty when I shake it I can't I forgot I had a hair elastic on my wrist I can't tell that any product is in here but as you saw some is spraying out and it sputters on me occasionally. I have to use a beauty blender to dab out any splotches that occur, but it's still not empty. So I'm, I'm not gonna choose a new category for this today, but who knows, like tomorrow it could be the last day. I'm not really sure. I know that this is for a product I bought online. <laughs> this is the Mother Special Blend Safe All Natural Skin Toning Oil to prevent stretch marks. I bought this um, during my pregnancy with Wyatt. It's so oily and greasy. I just got a bunch on my hand. 
Uh, and I figured this is the perfect time to finish it off because this is my last pregnancy now. And as you can see, I made more progress this past month than I have previously. I used this seven times. Now, I think I've used it more than that with body products or any products that are in projects that aren't at my vanity where I sit to do my makeup, where my cards are. I'm finding it harder to remember to go from like my bathroom with my shower which is on literally the opposite end of my house if I apply this when I get out of the shower to remember by the time I make it to my bedroom to walk over to my vanity to mark it on the paper so I have been making significant progress I have this much left in the bottle I'm due in six weeks um, and I have my kids early so um, I don't think this will be completely gone but I can always use it postpartum as well this will not be gone by the finale of this project that is for sure oh my goodness so messy Spashbox photo finish pore minimizing primer sorry I'm still trying to rub in that oil it's like a really thick oil and it's all over the place I've used this nine times since the last update. I'm having a hard time marking this. I only have one mark, which was after the first update, but it is so far down here, but it's stuck along the sides. But when I squeeze the sides, product comes out, like it won't even out across the packaging. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just gonna keep using this. My goal would be to use it up, but I don't think that's going to happen. This is one of the oldest primers in my collection, so I'm happy to be working on it. You only need a tiny little bit to fill in any like large pores you have. This is not something I apply to my whole face. I apply it to my cheeks right here. I have a few large pores like right in the center of my forehead, and that's pretty much it. So it's slow going, but I'm happy to be getting use out of this. The Bomb Mary Luminizer is for a product that I would repurchase. I do remember that as well. I have used this 12 times since the last update. It is finally starting to look used. Um, I haven't even bothered taking progress pictures anymore because literally month after month it was looking exactly the same. Again, it's of course what I have on my cheeks today. I love this highlighter so much like it took me way too long to try it to begin with I know this is like a classic highlighter but I did not get it until just a couple of years ago which I know that sounds ridiculous but I mean this has been hyped on YouTube since like 2014 or something like that and it's just truly beautiful. So when I eventually finish off this little sample I got in an Ipsy, I will be purchasing the full size of this because it just complements my skin tone so well. I'm loving using this. And lastly, I only used this twice. And that must be an error in my tallying because I had to pull the stopper out. This is the Balm Meet Matte Hughes Liquid Lipstick in the shade Committed. I have it um, underneath the NYX Butter Gloss today. I had to pull the stopper out, so it has gotten very messy, but I can see a ton of windows. The bottom is clear, like I can see right through the bottom of this packaging. You won't be able to even if I hold it up, but I can see a ton of windows on the side, I think. If I wear this every day, I think I can have this finish. And I know it's just a mini, it's 1.2 mils, but how great would it be to have one less liquid lipstick in my inventory? It's not going to happen before the end of the year, so I guess it doesn't count for my makeup inventory for January, but it would still feel really good for that to happen. I don't know. I'm going to keep trying. I really love this color. This is also a product I would repurchase. The color just works really great for my skin tone as well. And I love the formula, but no empties to share with you this month. That kind of sucks, but that's okay. I'm over beating myself up about it. I'm using the products as you can see, like for someone, my ear is popping as I'm talking. 
for somebody that doesn't wear makeup every single day for me like 11 12 uses in a month on some of these products is really good because I also do shop my stash I have other projects going these aren't the only products I'm working on so I'm just I'm feeling good about using the products and if they're not empty they're not empty I'm not going to waste them or beat myself up about not using them up faster I think that's silly and I'm trying to instill this mindset as we go into 2020 because I have lots of big panning plans for 2020, but I'm also due in February and I'm going to have a new baby to take care of. And I think that's going to make panning really difficult, but we'll just have to see where this year takes us. So let me know if you're going to be joining round seven so I can make sure to subscribe or follow you on Instagram if you're doing it over there so that I can still feel like I'm a part of the fun even though I probably, I'm 90% sure I'm going to have to skip out on round seven, which is a bummer. But yeah, let me know if you are participating in round seven that starts February 15th. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.